I've been asked why globalization is such an important aspect of what we're doing as a school, and oftentimes that's framed in the context that this is something new for us. The reality is it's not. If you look at the 130 years of history of our school and go back to some of the, the giants on which this school was built, a lot of the work that has been done has been in the area of global health. What we're doing now is simply taking all of that and saying that is a core feature of what we do as a school. It's part of our fabric. Understanding how to deliver better health care, how to train the next generation of physicians, and then learning from that so that we can bring it back here to London, Ontario. We see a time when our school will be identified as an international leader in issues of global health. We see a time when the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry will be asked the difficult questions about internationalization and global health. What does it mean to be involved in global health? Is it sustainable? What communities are we actually helping? What do we learn from it all? And is it the right thing to do? We should be the ones answering those questions. I see a time when the world is working together toward new discoveries and sharing our knowledge faster and better than ever before. We are international collaborators, united by our shared vision, surgeons, doctors and teachers without barriers or borders, and researchers with a world of knowledge and opportunity at our fingertips. At Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, we have built a powerful global network of innovation and discovery, and through those partnerships, we are setting a new standard of excellence in patient care, quality and safety at home and around the world. I see a time when tragedy doesn't have to mean a loss of life or limb. These are missions of care and hope, peace and compassion. Whether due to conflict or disaster, they are our jobs and our responsibilities. Schulich Medicine and Dentistry shares a global mission with the Canadian Forces to care for those put in harm's way on our behalf and to preserve the health of those left in disaster's wake. By teaching caregivers around the world how to treat and prevent trauma, we learn how to be better caregivers at home. I see a time when we are all part of a global commitment to health. We are here to become the world's next doctors and dentists, to heal and care for the sick, and to prevent injury and illness. We are a new generation of leaders in our field working around the world to give back to those in places of poverty, crisis, and conflict. We created the Office of Global Health at Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry to empower students and residents like Supriya and Kashif to realize their role as socially responsible global citizens. They come to us with aspirations of becoming clinicians, researchers, and educators. They leave us as leaders, stronger, wiser, and ready to truly help change the world. I see a time when doctors and dentists are part of a global network of care. We came here from different places, different cultures, and with different perspectives. We not only learn how to be dentists and doctors, but how sharing our knowledge helps more people in more places to experience better care. At Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, our cultural traditions add value to the innovative ways we learn to care for people at home, wherever that might be. I see a time when our commitment to global health transforms not only our partners in other countries, but also us. More than a decade ago, we partnered with professionals and institutions in a war-ravaged nation as that country sought to rebuild its health education infrastructure. Today, we continue to build on our relationship. We work collaboratively with initiatives that impact on maternal and child health care in our nation. We are inspired and heartened by the vision, resourcefulness, and giftedness of our peers in our partner nation. They are teaching us that together, we can truly provide a world of care. I see a time when prevention can replace treatment. Diabetes has become a global epidemic, with indigenous populations affected more than any other due to a shift to a westernized lifestyle. We believe the solution for future generations is all about prevention. At Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, 
We are working with First Nations in Canada to develop preventative strategies that start in the womb and empower communities. Together, we are creating innovations that will potentially help millions of people around the world with better, fuller, and longer lives. I see a time when we are at the heart of a global supply chain for innovations in medicine and dentistry. Our world is getting smaller with innovations and breakthroughs no longer achieved by individual researchers, but by global teams with different skills and talents. Today, at Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, we are working with a global network of physicians, engineers, and manufacturers to deliver new tools in the fight against cancer. No medical or dental school today exists in isolation. We are part of a much larger international effort to understand global health. How do we deliver it? How do we deal with the aging population? How do we provide health care to individuals and populations that are indigent and can't afford it? Here at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, our vision is broader than that. We believe that it's our societal responsibility to be involved across the world in helping deliver better models of healthcare in learning from other communities. Our job is to train students, graduates, members of our faculty who actually feel that they are part of this global community and are integrally involved in it. That's what we do as a school. That's the right thing to do.